I've studied a lot of millionaires, but Naval is one of the smartest people I have ever heard when it comes to the topic of personal finance. His interview on Joe Rogan has over 11 million views. He's the author of this book, and he wrote an insanely popular tweet storm called How to Get Rich Without Getting Lucky, which was 39 different tweets. I've narrowed that down to the top 20 that I've really actually implemented into my life. It's changed my finances. And I wanted to share those 20 top rules from Naval with you. You want to stick around for all of them, especially the one that he ends with. It has really shaped how I live my day to day life. Seek wealth, not money or status. Wealth is having assets that earn money while you sleep. Money is how we transfer time and wealth. Status is your place in the social hierarchy. While most people go for the promotion, they go for more status and popularity. For most people, if you want to become truly wealthy, you should focus on things that actually build wealth, not just things that move you up in the hierarchy and give you a better name or a bigger flex. Focus on assets. Understand that ethical wealth creation is possible. If you secretly despise wealth, it will elude you. I think we all know this to be true. If you say you're not interested in wealth, you just want to work your nine to five, you will work your nine to five for most likely the rest of your life and you will not become wealthy. Whereas if you want, you can change thousands, hundreds of thousands, or even millions of lives for the better by improving people's lives, which is an ethical wealth creation tool. You're not getting rich renting out your time. You must own equity, a piece of a business to gain financial freedom. If you're not starting your own business, then I think you're really doing yourself a disservice. If you want to get to that next level of 5 million or 10 million or $50 million, it is literally impossible by just renting out your time unless you're making like a million dollars a year somehow. Instead, you need to build a business that helps people and then sell it or step away. You will get rich by giving society what it wants, but does not yet know how to get at scale. Pretty much saying fix people's problems, make their life easier, and then just scale that. Pick an industry where you can play long-term games with long-term people. Because as we'll see later, get rich quick schemes don't generally make you rich, it makes the other person rich. The internet has massively broadened the possible space of careers, but most people haven't figured it out yet. You can make a business out of anything on the internet, whether it's a YouTube channel or a digital product or a website reviewing things, whatever it is, whatever your expertise is, you can make money on that on the internet. Even if you don't have an expertise, tons of people make money just being themselves. Play iterated games. All the returns in life, whether wealth, relationships, or knowledge come from compound interest. Learn to sell, learn to build. If you can do both, you will be unstoppable. This is something that's really impacted me. I know how to build, I do not know how to sell. And that's a skill that I'm trying to learn because most people know how to build something or they know how to sell something, but they very rarely have both. And when they do have both, you have an amazing product and an audience for that product. You can change people's lives and in return, get your own life changed. Arm yourself with specific knowledge, accountability, and leverage. Specific knowledge is knowledge that cannot be trained for. If society can train you, it can train somebody else to replace you. Specific knowledge is found by pursuing your genuine curiosity and passions rather than whatever is hot right now. Building specific knowledge will feel like play, but you will look like work to others. When specific knowledge is taught, it's through apprenticeships, not schools. Specific knowledge is often highly technical or creative, it cannot be outsourced or automated. Embrace accountability and take business risks under your own name. Society will reward you with responsibility, equity, and leverage. I feel like this is where a lot of people get stuck, especially for all those people who want to start maybe a YouTube channel or anything like that, any type of business really. And they're scared because you put yourself out there, you put work and hours and effort into something. And then if it fails, you take it as a shot against yourself your friends and family can see you fail. But if you're able and willing to get past that, that's where you can build a lot of real wealth by putting your own name on something and not just hiding behind somebody else's company and taking orders from them. The most accountable people have singular, public, and risky brains. Think of Oprah, Trump, Kanye, and Elon. Speaking of Elon, uh, it's been my goal for the last couple of years to get to half a million subscribers. When I do get there, I will finally be able to get a Tesla. If you want to help me out and literally change what I drive, uh, you can subscribe. It's free. Hopefully in return, you'll get a ton of value out of videos like this. Fortunes require leverage. Business leverage comes from capital, people, and products with no marginal costs of replication. Think code and media. Again, this comes back to you can't get wealthy just trading your time for money. You need some type of asset that works for you while you sleep, and you need leverage of some sort. Labor means people working for you. It's the oldest and most fought over form of leverage. Labor leverage will impress your parents, but 
don't waste your life chasing it. Code and media are permissionless leverage. They are the leverage behind the newly rich. You can create software and media that works for you while you sleep. If you can't code, write books and blogs, record videos or podcasts. This goes back to that the internet is so insanely powerful. You can become wealthy and build million dollar brands off of a podcast, off of a blog, off a YouTube channel, Instagram. I know people who have gone from working full time to doing social media full time, improving people's lives inside of a year and people who have gained real true wealth by doing that or creating some type of product or service and then selling it online. Whatever your skill set is, there is a way to monetize that through the internet, working from a coffee shop. By the way, I'm launching a program to help small creators make a full-time income on YouTube through different monetization strategies, setting up their company like a business, outsourcing, finding and procuring viral ideas, making engaging videos. So if you wanna be a part of that, click the link below, you can join the wait list. The goal is just to improve people's lives and get them doing something that really makes an impact on the world and is super fulfilling and also can make them wealthy. Set and enforce an aspirational personal rate. If fixing a problem will save you less than your hourly rate, ignore it. If outsourcing a task will cost you less than your hourly rate, outsource it. Again, this is what I have done with my YouTube channel. I've outsourced a lot of the stuff that I didn't enjoy doing. When it comes to a lot of projects in my personal life, it's gonna take me a couple hours to do it. I'm more than willing to pay people. So pick a rate that's much higher than you think, not $50 an hour, but like 100, 200, 500, $5,000 an hour and really live your life by that. And if you think you are worth that amount of money and you live your life that way, you work that hard and then you also outsource, you will start making more money as long as you're spending your time on the correct tasks. Become the best in the world at what you do. Keep refining what you do until that is true. Seems impossible until you niche down enough. And if you're not the best in the world at anything, you're the best in the world at being you. How can you monetize that? There are no get rich quick schemes. That's just somebody else getting rich off of you. Apply specific knowledge with leverage and eventually you will get what you deserve. When you are finally wealthy, you'll realize it wasn't what you were seeking in the first place, but that's for another day. If you look down in the description, I'll put the entire list of his 39 different uh, tweets on there. You can check that out. I'll link uh, some other videos of his. Super cool, I've also read his book. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, it really helps the channel, and I'll see you next week.